Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to continue learning more about chemistry. This is the sixth video of the 12 video series and I'll be leaving all previous video links in the description below. So today we're going to be talking about balancing chemical equations using substitution. So as I said, today we will be balancing equations using substitution. And what that means is in the chemical equation, such as this one, sometimes a compound or molecule appears more than once. And it can confuse you when there are many numbers. In this case, there are many the same compound, such as sulfate. Now to balance this equation without um, substitution is annoying because there are many different numbers and it just keeps going back and forth. So to help you out, we can substitute the sulfate compound and we can put an x in its place, such as like this. Now, when balancing the equation, the process will be much easier. Now, let's try it. First, let's look at the iron. We have two on the left and two on the right, so that is ba balanced. So now, let's look at the oxygen. We have three on the left, but we only have one on the right. So for now, let's put a three in front of the water compound. And so now we have six hydrogen on the right, and but we only have two on the left. So let's put a three in front of the hydrogen on the left. And let's find look at X, or in other words, sulfate. So we have three X on the left, and we but we also have three X on the right. So we have a balanced equation. Now. As we're finished, we can substitute the X back to SO4, like this. And that is how you substitute a chemical equation. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next one.